Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading for you, tuning into the day's energies, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for your comments, likes, shares, subscribing to this channel. So amazing. 7,000, over 7,000 people out there. It's just such an honor to get to translate these messages for you. So let's get to it, shall we? All right. The overall energy of this reading is the Hierophant in reverse. What is this? Um, a broken contract. A broken contract. What do we need to know about a, a broken contract? Oh, okay. All right. It looks like with the page of pentacles coming out in the challenging position that it's been a challenge to create a new life for yourself after a broken contract. It's been hard to start over again. Wow. Okay. It looks like the contract that you were in, it might have been a marriage contract. And it feels like it feels like there were agreements, conscious agreements that you had with your partner. But there were a lot more unconscious agreements in this relationship. And it looks like in the relationship, you were responsible for carrying the burdens of this relationship. It feels like you're responsible for this person. It feels like you're their emotional and mental Sherpa. Like, and for some of you, physical. Like free labor. Your job is to make them happy, like these type of unconscious agreements that uh, it's impossible. You can't make someone happy. That's our own responsibility, each of us. So it feels like this person um, depended on you. There could be codependency in this relationship. This broken contract, it feels like it was hard to get anything going for yourself. It was hard to make plans. It was hard. It feels like it's hard to get out of the house. It's hard to get anything working for yourself because it feels like you're you're living for this person. You're you're somehow. It doesn't feel like a relationship, like a partnership. It feels like this card, like you're meant to carry the burdens of this relationship. You're even carrying this person, carrying their mental load, their emotional load. And it feels like you're so exhausted and burdened, it's hard to do anything. It feels like you keep... you you. Your life is getting smaller and smaller, so you have the energy to care for this person. So your world is getting smaller and smaller. It looks like around the time that this contract was broken, you're starting to rework things. You're not drinking the Kool-Aid. You're seeing that this is not love. It feels like... Uh, feels like there was a veil pulled back and you were able to see this person clearly and there was kind of a oh oh this this is this is not my person this is not love 
very well could be third parties for a lot of you and tower feels like this relationship imploded and like I'm also seeing it looks like this was quite devastating to your life and it feels like it's been difficult a challenge to create a life after this after this broken contract feels like a broken uh, like a marriage broken marriage so a divorce contract broken no it's a marriage contract that's broken <laughs> maybe leading to divorce is what i'm seeing and there's third party energies here it doesn't have to be an affair partner it could just be it feels like this person is inviting in other people's opinions, their ideas, hurtfulness. It's, um, it's a very painful ending. Especially, I think, after doing so much of the work. And, and realizing that it, it didn't doing all that labor all that free labor all that work for this relationship for this person it feels like a lesson realizing that that what the contract that you were really in was just giving all of of yourself giving up giving up all of your needs all your desires and and centering someone else in your experience and i think you're you realized once you went through that 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 um it was an illusion maybe a little delusional it wasn't real just a lot of lessons Wow. All right. Hidden Blessings is the Page of Wands in reverse. Where? What's the Hidden Blessing? For some of you who, this is an end of a marriage that I'm tuned into. <clears throat> and... For some of you, this very difficult and painful way they, they ended this relationship, the discard, it feels like for some of you, they might have turned a child. If you had a child with this person, it feels like they might have turned a, a child or children against you or tried. And it looks like in this current energy that feels like the child is reworking things. It doesn't feel like... It doesn't feel like... It feels like they're seeing a different perspective. They were told a story, obviously. Like, um, it feels like a, a lot of negative talk about you. To get this get a child to join sides <laughs> jeez but what's interesting is it feels like this child if that's happened to you is reworking things they're seeing things differently they're no longer oh the Okay, if a child has been turned against you, it looks like um, the child wants to work with you, wants to rebuild, repair, connect. There's something here that they're reworking something here about it feels like you 
you've had a you have gained a lot of wisdom since the breakup of this relationship and they're seeing that and they're also seeing there's something here the child is it could be an adult child i'm just calling it child it feels like this child is seeing that you've learned a lot from being alone they're seeing something it feels like you've reworked things they're reworking things What they're seeing is that you have a lot less work to do when you're by yourself. In that relationship in the past, you had to sacrifice yourself to be in that relationship. Very burdened. And it feels like this child is realizing um, what was actually going on that you can get a lot accomplished when you're not burdened by this relationship. That you are sacrificing yourself for this person. And without having to do that, something has shifted in your energy. And it feels like this can be reworked. Especially if you can um, bring some compassion and grace for everyone in this situation. Wow. All right. Uh, what you're leaving behind is Six of Swords in reverse, walking on eggshells. Constantly, your nervous system completely, chronically dysregulated. I think by the time the end of this relationship happened, you didn't realize how out of sync you were, how dysregulated you were, how, because it, it just slowly over time, you're becoming less and less of yourself, more and more out of balance, so nervous, walking on eggshells. So you're leaving that behind. You're leaving behind a constant, chronic, dysregulated nervous system. You're leaving behind giving all your focus, attention to someone who's not going to give any of that back. You're leaving behind the fight. Feels like it's just a struggle. This person that you were maybe in a marriage with is just determined to be difficult. They want to be the leader. They want to be the grand poobah. They need to be viewed and seen as I'm the boss. It comes from such an immature space. Like, I need to lead and I need to decide. I get to be the one. This feels like whoever you were married to or in this past relationship with where there was a breakup, it feels like this is how their parent behaved dominating ruling a tyrant and as a child they're like i can't wait till i get to rule i can't wait till everybody has to do what i say so this person instead of despising and not liking how they were raised and how it made them feel instead they were waiting for their turn to be the powerful one and get to boss everybody else around and um and that's what they did it looks like you're also leaving behind someone who consciously creates confusion for you purposefully keeps you insecure unstable uncertain because then you're easy to move you don't see them you're trying to they've got you confused and so you won't see what they're doing that they're taking all your power away 
All right. How to get the most of this energy is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Pulling back all of your energy from this person. Some of you might still be talking to them in your head telepathically, arguing, trying to get them to convince them. You're so you might haven't seen them, you might have it's been years even for some of you, but you're still telepathically arguing with this person or trying to convince them, trying to get them to see your point of view or get them to see you. So letting go of telepathic communications in personal readings, even if there's been years of separation, either there's still that telepathic connection or their, their energy is still in your space. You haven't evacuated them from your energy. For those who do that, it feels like you just go unconscious. White snow everywhere. Just, just a little, just be unconscious. It's easier to be unconscious than have to feel a really uncomfortable feeling. Where is it coming from? It's someone's in my space. Let me get them out. There's something here about creating energetic separations. No longer investing in this person on any level. Completely pulling your emotions, your energy back. It looks like that's the best way how to get the most of this energy. What's supporting you is the Eight of Cups. Walking away is what's supporting you. Walking away even if there's still water in those cups, still emotions there. some negative communication coming in someone's got a lot to say negatively what it, uh, an eight of cups again walking away that's a good illustration there's the cups are upright there's still possibly something in those cups but it's not nine of cups fulfillment it's not ten of cups happiness it feels like settling feels like you did as best you could with what you were given. You tried to make it work. And it didn't. It didn't work. What's this negative talk? Someone's walking on eggshells themselves. Oh! This is the smear campaign because you're, you've walked away or you're walking away. With two, it feels like you just keep walking away from what's not for you. Detaching from. And it feels like there are people that, not just this partner, but maybe other people. There's something about your strategy of, thank you for showing me who you are, and you turn and walk away that's it there's no argument there's no fight it feels like this person really wanted you to stay and fight they really wanted it feels like part of a plan a strategy was to see you miserable blame you for how miserable you are in the spot you, there is a whole other aspect that it feels like you by you walking away you took away some fun from this person. It feels like they really wanted to torment you. And instead you just keep walking away. And now this is making them nervous because why is this making them nervous? Because you see they're lying, cheating, stealing. I think they thought you they had you. 
they had complete control over you that you were a pawn in their game and instead it looks like you just keep walking away and it looks like you could reveal something about them or something is coming out about all that they did they could have just walked away or made this real simple but they did a lot they created a, a lot of traps of confusion purposeful it feels like this is coming out it feels like this person can't stop talking and they're telling on themselves you in this energy what's supporting you is you just keep walking away for from what's what and who's not for you and with the high priestess it feels like you're just following your intuition and recognizing oh you don't want to work with me anymore you don't like me okay i'm going the other direction that's all i needed to know <laughs> feels like this person they could have just said that and that would have been on many levels heartbreaking but you could have figured out what was going on this person instead created a lot and it feels like by you walking away you you missed a significant portion of this discard was it feels like this person was going to keep you somehow close by and torment you punish you decimate you and relish in your complete annihilation and it feels like you really disappointed them by walking away you just keep kept walking away <laughs> I love it. All right. So that's supporting you, following your intuition and walking away once someone shows you how they feel about you in no uncertain terms. And it feels like you got that clearly in the past. All right. What to be mindful of is the nine of cups in reverse. What to be mindful of are people who are out of alignment, who are unhappy, and they make their out of alignment and their unhappiness your responsibility. Feels like this person there's some type of injury here. You might have been married to a narcissist. Like the injury to this person's ego This person make, made their unhappiness your problem. Ten of Swords in reverse. Feels like they communicated to everyone who would listen. It's your fault. You're the problem. There's no accountability at all. This was a relationship, right? Like it takes two, but somehow you are completely responsible the only time I, the, I don't call this accountability or responsibility this person does tend to really enjoy a pity party for themselves they love being the victim or the martyr I did this for you it feels like this person has three gears they want to be the hero the victim or the martyr they don't really operate in any other ways so this person positioned themselves to be a victim to you in the relationship there's something even a martyr like they tried their best to help you and support you but so there's a little of that energy they are so far away from hero the way they've behaved and it feels like they they know this is not heroic the child is reworking things and seeing things clearly 
feels like there's a potential for uh, reconciliation with a child if if there was um, if this person kind of poisoned a child against you. And so what to be mindful of is it feels like being mindful of people who make you responsible for, <laughs> for them, for them. You're responsible for you. You have, I don't think this person thought you had the strength to, to get out of this trap that they set for you. They didn't think you would be able to reconcile with this child. They didn't think that you would be able to walk away from this. Wow, you have really, you have a confidence about you that you did not have um, while you were in that relationship. That's that's amazing. It doesn't feel like you're affected by anything this person has to say about you to others. It feels like whatever. It feels uh, it's it looks like you've turned your back on this that energy. You're standing in your strength and focusing on what you want to create for yourself. You're in a very powerful position. And I don't think it's 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 not lost on this person that there's a reversal of fortunes that have happened here. There's a huge shift. The shift is because of you, because of your changing yourself, your facing your fears. That's how you you find this inner strength and confidence is by facing fears not allowing your fears to keep you small but seeing that everything you want is on the other side of that fear and so a lot of times what you perceive as a wall of fear once you start going towards it and determined to break down that wall you realize that that wall was paper Wow, this is beautiful. All right, I'm going to end the reading here. If you are interested in continuing on with this reading, if this has been resonating, I'm halfway through the reading. I'll do the second half on Patreon. So if you want to continue on with this reading, there's a link in the description box below. It says extended reading here. You click on that link. It takes you over to Patreon, right to part two. If, um, and in part two, I'll look at health, relationships, creativity, new opportunities, and career in finance. Halfway through. So uh, if you are finished and you feel complete, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day. And if you are ready for the extended reading, I'll meet you over on Patreon. Bye.